I've interviewed many people during my career, and the rarest are the ones which stay with you long after the camera switched off. And Ken Tyler was one of those interviews. We sat down together and had a pretty standard interview about his experience at Fly My PPG and being sponsored by Resurgence PPG. And he also spoke about his time in the military. I knew he'd been through a really tough time in the military, so my questions were delicate to say the least. And he was quite reserved with his answers, which is understandable. Then as I was packing away my camera, he made a request which none of my interviewees had ever made before. He wanted to be interviewed again. And I knew at that point that he was willing to open up. What he said next was incredibly moving. So without further ado, this is Ken's interview. I've been in pain every day for a decade and uh... When I've been out flying, I know I'm a, a new flyer. It, it, it kind of just melts away for a while, and I, I forget about it when I'm up there. And that's that's life changing in itself. My name is Ken. I joined the Marine Corps when I was 17 in 2008. I did two deployments to Afghanistan, and in June of 2010, I was involved in an IED blast. Uh, I got strap metal from my knee up to my face and head and chest and leg and hip. I lost uh, a good friend. Um, he was standing right in front of me when that IED went off and there was, uh, he, yeah, he just didn't make it. And there was also another Marine that was injured really bad in that blast. And it's hard not to think about that. Like that's been kind of my uh, life thought. The, the thought that occupies my, my, most of my thoughts, I guess. That was life changing. Um, I deal with a significant amount of pain all day and uh, I, was, I was lost. I was in this position of, like, what do I do now? I, uh, and no goals, no direction. That's what I wanted to be my whole life is, man, I, I wanted to be a Marine. And uh, after that ended, I, I was without direction. That is the major like problem for, I think almost everybody who leaves the Marine Corps is what do I do now? You know, like, where am I gonna go? I, I don't belong, so. Uh, man, I was uh, just kind of hanging out and I got this phone call and uh, it was from Justin saying, hey man, you want to fly power paragliders? I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. He's like, I think I know a guy who can make that happen. And then later on that day, Todd gave me a call and he, he set it all up for me. He's like, hey, I'm going to sponsor you to fly powered paragliders. I was like, I couldn't believe it. I did not expect it at all. <laughs> that first flight, I'm not even sure I looked out and actually took in the view till about, I don't know, a fourth of the way around. And I remembered that uh, Justin was like, man, you really need when you're up there, this is your first flight. Make sure you look around and take it in because you're just going to be so busy you're not going to capture it. So I did that and it was awesome. But man, the second I touched down from that emotion, just overwhelming, like a flood of emotion, I was like, man, I did it. My, my life has changed. I'm no longer a ground dweller. You know, I'm, a, I'm up there with the birds. It's, it was awesome. It was the most incredible experience you could ever imagine. It is a life changing thing. For the, for the better, I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's almost like a band-aid over some of those thoughts. It gives you freedom. I see all these veterans that Todd has helped, and man, we're, we're a part of a, a tight-knit group, and we all chat, and we, we all love it, and I can't wait to fly with them, so it's social connections, and I don't know, I, I feel like I'm gonna be a happier guy, you know, if I get stressed out about something, I can strap that, paramotor on my back if the weather's nice, fly around, take in the scenery, get whatever was bothering me out of my head and it's uh, incredible.
incredible. I have a, a wife and a son who's uh, two years old. He's full of energy, and I struggle to keep up and play with him. And uh, trying to find that connection is difficult to do sometimes for me. I feel, you know, kind of like I kind of let him down sometimes. And I feel uh, he loves airplanes. He loves everything that flies. And I think that's going to maybe uh, reignite some family bonds. Flying overhead and watching them point up and hearing them on the radio talking. And uh, it was, uh, I, I think, um, I feel like flying has really given me uh, some new goals to work on in life, a uh, new perspective of life. And uh, it makes me feel like a better father and husband. It has changed me, I, I believe.